Good morning guys. This is Liz, South Florida Couponer. Hope everybody's having a nice Sunday morning. Uh, it's a little bit rainy and gross here in South Florida today, but the temperature is still perfect and the shopping is pretty good. So this morning I left my home at about a quarter to six, I think, and I ran off to two of my 24-hour CVS stores. I was only going to go to one, but the first store I went to didn't have the Schick Hydro Silk. So the only thing I picked up there were the two Colgate toothpaste. Um, I was also looking for the little Nescafe coffee stick packs because they're on sale for a dollar and I have coupons to use for those but I couldn't find them at either store which isn't a biggie because it wasn't a, a big part of my planned transactions anyway so I'm just going to keep an eye out for those. I know they had them on sale at Walgreens, and yeah, I don't really like Walgreens. So, <laughs> as you can tell by my videos, I barely ever go to Walgreens. I just don't like shopping there. But that's another story. So, at my first store, I got the Colgates, and I also picked up a Sunday newspaper. I picked up a copy of the Sun Sentinel, because for some reason this week, the early edition Sunday paper of the Miami Herald didn't have the smart sources in them. And I realized that when I bought them, but they still had the Pepsi and the um, Publix inserts. And they also had, like, the store inserts for CVS and Target, which I wanted to take a look at anyway. So I did buy two papers yesterday, but I wanted to get another one today that had the Smart Source in it. So um, I also get the Miami Herald delivered on Sunday morning, so now I have two sets of inserts, which is what I wanted but I realized this morning, it's really weird that the Miami Herald and the Sun Sentinel have different inserts. Like the smart sources are different. My um, Sun Sentinel one did not have the Schick Hydro Silk coupon in it. But luckily my Miami Herald did. So I had only got four, one of the $4 off coupons. Which is fine because I only wanted one razor anyway, but I am totally rambling again and I'm just really not all that awake yet because I didn't finish my coffee. So I'm just going to start talking about what I did for my transactions. So at CVS Numero Uno, I picked up one of the Colgate Pro Relief, which is on sale for $4.99 this week. And I also picked up the Sun Sentinel, which is a whopping $2 now, which really really sucks but so be it and then I had a dollar off coupon for the Colgate from the reinventing beauty magazine and I had a 75 cent off coupon for the Colgate and then I had a three dollar ECB going into this so my grand total was two dollars and sixty six cents I used a CVS cash card to pay the balance and I have a dollar fifty nine left on the cash card at this point so that's what I did with the first transaction. And then I got back a $4 ECB for the Colgate. So I had to split out the second Colgate because most uh, stores will not let you use more than one of the same Reinventing Beauty Magazine coupons in one transaction. So that's why I had to break the second toothpaste out. So here's the second one. I had a dollar off from Reinventing Beauty Magazine. I also had a dollar off coupon that came out of a Colgate $15 coupon booklet that was on a tube of Colgate that I got last month. So I had $2 off and made my total $2.99 and then tax. So I handed the guy my CVS cash card again to use up that $1.59 balance that I had. And I don't know what he did, but he started like screwing around with the, uh, the cash register and he's like, wait a minute, you know, I messed up, let me redo this, whatever. So I'm standing there and standing there and standing there, and I don't know what he's doing. The register is making funny noises, and <laughs> and he's just, I, I don't know what he's doing. So he, the receipt prints out, and he hands me the $4 extra care buck for the Colgate, and then he just hands me my cash card back, and he said, here you go, and... I was really surprised because obviously if I only had a dollar fifty nine left on my cash card and I had a, a total here of what is this three twenty nine yeah uh three twenty nine left I was gonna have to pay with another gift card to make up the rest of the the balance, 
but he said, you're good to go, here you go, and gave me everything, you know, gave me my cash card back and sent me on my way. So I was puzzled, but since he said go, I went, and so pretty much I didn't pay anything for the second <laughs> tube of Colgate. And I still got my $4 ECB, so that was kind of a money maker there. And if anyone's going to get in trouble, it's going to be him. <laughs> because I was totally ready to pay. But he just let me go. So that kind of made it easier to swallow that $2 newspaper fee. <laughs> so anyway, I drove myself down the road to CVS store numero dos. And I found the Schick Hydra Silk which was on a really lovely display that I think they just put up because it was fully stocked. They had all the razors, they had all the refills. They also had cans of the Schick Hydro that you see here. And they also had the Skin to Mint Shave Gels, the pink can. And every single one of the shave gels had the $2 off Peely coupons. And that's the first time I've seen the Peelys on these shave gels and I was so excited. So they had four of the Schick Hydros, which I promptly bought all four because the Schick Hydro Shave Gels are on sale this week for $1.99. And with those $2 peelies that they conveniently put on the cans for me, they were free and I made a penny on each one. So that was totally awesome. Unfortunately, they are no longer kicking out $4 extra care bucks. So, I mean, that would have been just epic, but of course it didn't do that. But I am okay with it because they were still totally, totally free. And I also managed to peel off a few of the saved $2 peelies off of the Skin to Mint Shave Gels, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> I wanted to take them all, but I, I, I didn't. There were still a, a bunch of Skin to Mints sitting there with $2 peelies on them. But the Skin to Mint was full price, so I just left them alone and just, you know, took a couple of peelies off the cans. So I got the shave gel, I got my razor, and I also picked up one of the Thermacare heat wraps, which is on sale this week for $3.79, and you get that back in ECBs. So here is my receipt from the second store, transaction number three here. Thermacare, $3.79, each of the Schick shave gels were $1.99, and the razor was $9.99. So then you see my four $2 off Peely coupons for the Shave Gel, my $4 coupon for the Schick Hydro Silk, and then the $3 coupon was a $3 off $15 purchase coupon, and the $4 was an ECB from one of my Colgate transactions earlier. So my total was $3.67. This guy actually used my cash card correctly and used the $1.59 that was left on it. And then I ended up paying $2.08 on another gift card that I had. So, nothing out of pocket this morning. And I, w I went in with only $3 in ECBs and that little bit on my cash card. And I got back a, well I still have a dollar off, a $3.79 and two $4 ECBs. I only used the one $4 ECB. So, this is what I have left, which is pretty, pretty cool. And plus I have peelies. <laughs> and just in case the the skin to mint goes on a four dollar ECB kick again. So yeah, that is my CVS haul for this week. Um I don't really see myself going back uh specifically to buy anything. If I find a store that has those coffee stick packs, great. But if not, then unless something else comes up during the week, I am finished with CVS. So if you have any questions guys let me know. I will put all the coupon info in the description box as usual and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!